Despite being a new model of ship, the system you see here largely emulates that of the previous Courageous. Our operations manual only covers the bare minimum. Should you find anything lacking, you'll have to figure it out as you go. Understood. I'll make sure to pass it on to everyone else. In total, it spans a length of 92 Arch, a considerable step up from the previous 74 Arch class. However, because the ship is so much bigger, you'll need to carefully watch the speed and engine output. Ha! Huh. So she's a wild one, eh? Sounds to me like this girl's gonna need a bit more taming than the last one. This terminal should give you complete command over all the ship's facilities and fire control systems. It comes equipped with anti-hacking measures, specially developed by Professors Albert and Erica Russell themselves. You mean Mom and Grandpa made it? <laughs> we should have no problems then. Incredible. Every inch of equipment on this ship is state-of-the-art. And that computer's one of the Epstein Foundation's next-generation models. Weren't they only just developed? That's right. And its hull has the latest innovations in hydrodynamic engineering, courtesy of the Ruhr Institute of Technology. Plus, it seems to be outfitted with ZCF's newest next-gen orbital engine, too. It only gets more and more unbelievable every time I hear it. Just how did you manage to construct a cutting-edge ship like this abroad in total secrecy, without anyone finding out? As I stated earlier, there are a great deal of individuals who helped me make this happen. Such as Mr. Gwyn here, for instance. Mm-hmm. The story here goes all the way back to right after the Civil War. Considering the way it ended, his Highness decided to approach me for some advice. He had me prepare this ship for him, all in anticipation of the day when the crimson wings would be torn from the sky. So that's why... Huh. I do remember His Highness mentioning something about you being his advisor.
Th this is... I underestimated them. Shara, I'm sorry. Sorry, I looks like I messed up. Goddess, please protect my daughter. You have 15 seconds until the hull collapses. So before then, I will offer you one final wager. A gravitational barrier will appear on the bridge for exactly 24 seconds. Let's see if you can come back from this. Ah! Uh, Adios, help us! You gotta stay calm. Get down and brace for impact. Uh, over there! Damn! Gravitational barrier. It's not gonna hold. Don't give up just yet. Was I a moment too late? Nay, surely a flicker of hope yet remains. Can you still be plucked from the jaws of Gehenna? Show me just how far that luck of yours will take you, my dearest rival.
those of you who have not yet had the honor, my name is Roselia Milstein. I am the elder of Erebonia's Hexen Clan. Emma and Vita are my disciples in the magical arts. It is a pleasure to finally meet you, Prince Olivert, as well as the storied children of Crossbell and Laburl. Indeed, being sent forth by Adios, much like the holy beast of Earth. Thomas Lysander, second dominion of the Grosritter. Estelle, Lloyd, I've heard many a rumor about your respective endeavors. As for you, your highness, I don't think we've had the chance to talk since you were last at the main campus.
The solution is simple. Use this ship to whatever end you see fit. The rivalry of the Seven appears to be the true objective behind this plan of the Chancellor and the Gnomes. That much we can safely assume. And yet, it is this very same objective that may be our sole hope in preventing the disaster to come. <laughs> you for real here? It's true that ever since this curse was unleashed, it's felt as though everything's being guided by some unseen force. With that in mind, it'd be near impossible to try and prevent the war altogether. That's probably why Dad and Chloe opted for Operation Meal Mirage instead. But while we're on it, what exactly is this curse anyway? Huh. Hmm. We know full well the sort of strife a Septarian can cause. We saw so ourselves during the incident in Liberal a few years back. There, we had to come face to face with the same issues our ancestors contended with 1200 years ago. It was the same for us. We fought back against a centuries-long plan to artificially recreate a Septarian. One that had been lost due to mankind's own hubris. Yeah, I almost made a really big mistake back then. But then Lloyd and the others came and made everything alright again. In Liberal, a ring that could grant any heart's desire. And in Crossbell, a tree that could rewrite destiny itself. Each one a blessing, yet each one a curse. But in spite of that, Estelle, Lloyd, and everyone else faced them head on. They didn't lose heart even once. Therefore, discovering the truth is your responsibility now. It's not something Estelle, or Lloyd, or even the rest of us can accomplish. Only you, Class 7 of Thor's Military Academy. The Empire is facing threats both on its surface and behind the scenes. You're no strangers to kick and tail on either of those fronts. I can't think of a more tenacious bunch out there. The way I see it, you guys are the only ones who can do this. <sighs> it's up to us then. Naturally, the Courageous Two has its own missions to see to. We must travel around the country helping people and gathering allies. Even so, I have no doubt that we can still serve as your wings of passage. More so with the Merkaba out of commission. After all, the difference in size should be more than enough to fit, oh, say, two Divine Knights and four Panzer Soldats, hmm? Oliver. You've put so much thought into this. We appreciate it. Then Thor's Military Academy's Class 7 would be honored to take you up on that offer, Your Highness. We'll do everything we can to assist you in your efforts as fellow members of the Radiant Wings. We'll help too! It's only fair after all you've done for the Branch Campus students. If you ever need someone to make that ship purr, I'm your gal. Fabulous! Delighted to have you. You see, we've been rather lacking in the crew department. <laughs> Well, I sure as hell ain't sitting this one out. What kind of instructor would I be otherwise? Cut me in two. I mean, we're finally all back together again. Like we said, we're gonna be off doing our own thing, but we'll still be helping out. Same with us. We'll be catching a ride on the Bobcat 2 after we're done here. Now that you mention it, you did both say you'd be working separately. Yeah, the plan is to cover Eastern Arabonia, North Ambria, and Jirai. You mentioned getting in touch with HQ and Lamont. Guess that means you guys are heading out too, huh, Shara? We are. Though we won't be leaving the ship until tomorrow. Sarah, Fee, you guys got things covered here, yeah? Of course. When have we ever let you down? Call us if you need anything, okay? I guess... this is goodbye for now then, huh? Yeah. We've got some stuff to take care of back in Crossbell. Don't worry. We'll be seeing each other again before you know it. In the meantime, let's give this our all. Yeah! We got this, Yuna! Right!